Hello YouTube, this is Wild Harpy. I'm bringing you the my gadget deck that I uh, ran at regionals this weekend. Um, didn't do as well because I kind of faced a few anti-metas that that actually killed me. Um, I wish I would have side deck for some of the stuff, but like I said, I kind of fixed it for the main decks, which I knew it would work on them. But anyways, this is actually what I ran. It's a nice build. Apparently it's called, it's actually called, uh, it's like my gadget deck. Um, it's called uh, a stun gadget or a gadget stun type deck. All right, here, let's get started. <coughs> um, uh, two green gadgets, of course, two red gadgets, and two yellow gadgets. A lot of people wonder, maybe wonder why only two, because you will get stuck with uh, multiple gadgets in your in your hand. And you don't want that, so you only run two of each. Uh, next one I added <coughs> two cyber dragons. I have the uh, one of the rare ones, which are actually value, and I actually have this the tin version, but this is a special one. See the see the letters? They're actually green or a different color the normal one is actually like gold if you ever seen the secret version from the tin so I don't know if this is actually a misprint but I actually have one okay next one up of course famous one two Thunder Kings right Ryu's even though uh, they kind of mess up the, the gadget decks um, you be, you have to play them carefully Especially, but these are really good, especially if you're playing Light Swarm or any type of uh, like a Blackwing deck that special summons. Uh, you kind of want to do that, and it will actually negate it. So if you get the special summon, like if they're trying to do a value, uh, you can just clear it out. Next two, uh, last format, it wasn't that good, but these are really, really, really good. These can actually kill your uh, gladiator beasts um, if they activate their effects automatically. If they want to tag out, they die as well. If they want to contact Cost Infusion, they take them out as well. Really good beat sticks. Um, the good thing about these, okay, even though he will die when uh, activation is performed, these actually, uh, when you activate, especially like gadgets, it tells you you can search in your deck do if you do have these be careful when you activate the gadgets they will kill these so if you summon a gadget you don't have to activate it so you have an option about with that all right next card is i use gd warrior ladies um uh, mco 40 actually uses uh dd assailant but i i still like these these are like uh like i guess you can call my babies um, when chaos so when chaos decks were out, these were basically the the cards people would use. Um, I'm kind of looking for two more of these, the the hobby league ones. If you have them, let me know. We can trade for it and let me know on them. I have three of these already of the the normal one from the Dark Crisis, so I collect them. So um, probably the next one I will probably collect are the gold series ones. All right, next one next tech card is. Of course, of course, best card ever in the game. Um, when they, you know, do damage, you have no no backfield, nothing on the field. You bring them out with a token. Next card is it hurts. Tergodia was I used to I used to use two in this. It was really broken, but it's still helpful. Uh, really good card um, to basically have in your hand, especially when you have um, gadgets. You keep building your hand, you get a plus. You get a, a gadget and you basically level him, um, get 600 on him. Next card up, of course, the Gale. When there were three Gales, people, gadgets we used to run through these. These were really, these are dangerous. They're like one of the best cards. This thing should be hollow, by the way. Um, this is actually, uh, I used it. I'm called 40s build. It's really good. Actually, it stalled me. It, it stalled the opponent. So I was actually happy on that. He couldn't do anything to me, um, but really good card, especially if you're attacking him and hit him, um, hit him directly. You basically take a card out of out of his hand. 
Uh, of course, next ones are three Smashing Grounds. Very good ones in this format. Uh, I only have a hollow version. I'm looking for two more. If anybody has some, let me know. I, I will actually try to see if I can trade for them. I have uh, two hollow. I will bring you my binder update tomorrow. So it'll have a little more, more stuff tomorrow. So just to let you guys know. Uh, two Fishers. These are Hobby League, which I really love. And I already have them, but I wouldn't mind having a third one, just in case. Uh, Book of Moons. I will, I probably will never get those su uh, those super versions. They're way too expensive. Um, I'm hoping the Gold Series for our th for this year will actually have Gold Series of these. I will replace them. Uh, the only thing I don't will not like though, have you noticed right here? These are Magic ones, and these are First Edition. I love uh, these type. That's why I'm using these over any other ones for right now. But if they're hollow, of course, I'll replay. One Lightning Vortex. Didn't get to use it yesterday that much. I mean, on Saturday that much. But it's, it's a really useful card. When especially you need to clear something on the field when he swarms, you can clear him out with one. But you have to be careful, especially with that new card called uh, Starlight Roads. Really bad mojo. You have to be careful when to use destruction cards like this. Heavy Storm, same thing with hit, but really good tech. I still use it. Uh, Mystical Space Typhoon. I'm kind of looking for a uh, forgot. I'm looking for a Hobby League of this. There's a Hobby League version of this. If anybody has it, let me know. Next card is of course the All Powerful Brain Control. Really good card. I love it, especially turns games around. And I use this tech as well from Robbie. This is really, really, really good. Um, I swapped a lot, and they didn't expect this. So, really good card. Please test it out. This is a Hobby League run. Three-dimensional prisons. Really good for this format, of course. Now they're common, so you can aff anybody can actually afford these. Really, really good uh, st uh, staple card in this set. Um, try them out. Uh, two Royal Oppressions. Basically, I used to just run two anyways. I would always side deck one, so it didn't really hurt me. I know how to use just to two at, a, at a, the advantage, so I really didn't lose much. Two bottomless trap holes, of course, from, of course, LOD, one of my favorite boxes. A Solemn Judgment, Metal Raiders, original, original, really good card, a good staple, of course. Uh, Torrental Tribute, really helpful. Of course, main one of the main ones, Mirror Force, and I actually added one, which made it 41. I wasn't able to get it to 40, but it's a gadget deck. You search, you actually run out of cards really fast. This saved me twice yesterday. Um, really good tech. Um, really good, you know, every all around. So try it out. Uh, I'm gonna go quick because I'm about to run out of minutes. Uh, Armor Master, of course, Colossal, Veronic, Mistworm, Ancient Fairy Dragon, Thought Ruler, Catastrophe, Goyo, Black Rose Dragon, two Stardust, an Android, a Red Archfiend, and two Chimera Tech Fortress Dragons. Really good ones, especially when when I'm use when you're using two Cyber Dragons. Uh, really good, especially still your opponent's Cyber Dragons. Uh, next one is. Body as a shield for side deck. I didn't really use it much. I wish I would have traded it for a bottom. For a Manobo Boma Cross out, would have helped me yesterday. A uh, Trap Hole, I, I kind of side deck into it. I don't really use it that much. Two Royal Decrees, saved me yesterday. Two Pulling the Rugs, really good, especially if you're playing Gadgets or Monarchs. Kill them out. Really good card right here. I only, I only got to use it once, but I stole uh, basically uh, Armor Master off of them. And they were pissed. They were like, what the hell is this? They didn't expect this. Really good card, Robbie. I played this. Told me, it said that he had played this. It's a really good card. Consecrated Light. I beat the fucking Blackwings <laughs> that I played. They hated me. Banishers, really good. Out of play. They, nothing from the graveyard. Breakers. If you were playing Eato decks, these are 19 hitters. Really good. R replace my, the uh, some of the stuff in there. 19 hitters. And of course, a Chaos Sorcerer. Removing. Really, really, really good card. Um, not bad. I'm looking for a uh, super uh, ultra of this. Anybody has it, let me know. This is why I harp you out. Sorry. And please subscribe. Late. Talk to you guys later and subscribe. Late.